Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and today I wanted to talk about packaging and branding and being environmentally friendly. I have posted a video before on eco-friendly packaging options and uh, the difference between that video and this video is in that video I talk about where you can purchase products that have either been 100% recycled or can be recycled and are biodegradable. So that is a great option. But anyways, let's get to it. I have about seven different ideas and I have branded them all. So it's usually with a rubber stamp and I'll talk about that in a second. This is my first idea. It's just a little pouch. Um, basically, you have any um, old t-shirts, pants, any fabric that you don't want anymore, you can use that. So I actually used a kitchen towel and just use my sewing machine to make a little pouch like this and then use some twine to wrap around. And um, I used this, I cut this with my Cricut and it's out of a cereal box and then I used my stamp to brand this as well as the package. So this is a really good idea. Um, all of these are super cost effective and again this is all using upcycled stuff that I had that would probably end up in the garbage. The other option I have is this DIY pill box. This is made out of a toilet paper roll and then I stamped it with my logo so this is good for small items and once it's all put together it doesn't really look like a toilet paper roll. I mean you might know but I feel like it looks pretty good for being a toilet paper roll and that's something that definitely would probably end up in the garbage. So this is another little pouch and it's from a book that I don't read anymore or I don't know a book that you just found. Um, I basically just cut out two pieces of the pages or ripped out two pages <laughs> and then just sewed them together using my sewing machine. I just sewed around here and then cut this part so this opens up and you can put items in here. And then I just closed it with a washi tape. So you can stamp it here. Um, my logo stamp is quite large so I just stamped it on the back here with my logo and then the website is down here. So this would be great for like stickers again or jewelry. So um, really really easy and quick and really really cost efficient. So to go with like you have this tag to brand you may also want to throw in a card for your customer. This one is cut out of a cereal box again and then I made this print myself so I just cut this out of the linoleum or rubber so it's a lino cut block printing and then I use this speedball ink to print it on and once you have like a bunch of these cut out you can just like bang them out pretty quickly with the ink and then I just use this space to write a little note and lastly I have this This is used the novel pages again I just cut them into shreds or if you want to be really smart you can put them in a paper shredder and get it done like a hundred times faster so this is just really cheap eco-friendly filling and then Obviously you can reuse your boxes. Every box I get I make sure to keep so that I can use it again in the future. Luckily this one didn't have any logos so the stamp is probably not that necessary but I find if you're reusing a box and it has like the Sephora logo all over it, it feels kind of weird to send that to a customer. They think they're getting a package from Sephora, they're a little bit confused. So I always like to stamp this box that says excuse my appearance with the recycle logo and I think that that just kind of like signals to the customer that oh they reused this box and that's why it has four all over it. You can also use a stamp to like again cut out a cereal box and then maybe put a sentence on the stamp about how all of the materials in your packaging are upcycled and you can just stamp it on the cardboard box. It's much easier than always printing because printer ink is very expensive and my printer is really slow so it takes a little while but if you have a stamp and an ink pad you can quickly do that and uh, the ink from an ink pad lasts a lot longer than the printer. So the stamps are actually from my Etsy shop. Um, I have a wood stamp and a self inking stamp. I do find that the self inking stamp is a lot faster because the ink is already in there so you can just stamp away whereas with the wood stamp you do need to continuously ink with the ink pad to keep going. So this one is bigger and kind of ugly and then this one is cuter and smaller but it just depends on how many products you're trying to stamp. So I have both because I don't use this one as often but this logo one I'm always stamping 
bunch of envelopes at once. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe got inspired to try some upcycling yourself. I'm definitely going to continue using these. I think my favorites are the cereal box cutouts because I do add in a lot of little notes and um, why not just use the card stock that comes with my cereal boxes because I eat a lot of cereal. <laughs> so anyways, thanks for watching and again if you have any ideas please comment below and I'll see you next time.